Hello, everybody. I am Johan, the friendly little ink spirit, and today I'm going to be cracking into some night in the woods. Um, give me one moment. I want to take a moment and make sure that the stream is working okay, since it does not let me um, stream the game while it is at all minimized. So, I need to pull it up on a second device, make sure that everything is running smoothly for y'all. <coughs> All right, looks like things are moving and it is picking me up. Sweet. All right, so since things seem to be going alright, let's get going. So Night in the Woods is a lovely little uh, storytelling game that I stumbled across probably four-ish years ago watching some other folks play through it. Watched the whole thing, felt very profound about it, resonated with a lot of life experiences that I have had some friends go through, some stuff that I've gone through, and it's just lived in my head rent-free ever since. So I have watched the whole thing, I am fully spoiled on it, but I have also not watched anything about it for basically the past four years, just kind of trying to let it percolate, because I want to have an opportunity to sit down and play through it myself. So figured I'd stream that and bring everyone else along with me while I go through it. So here we go. In the year Grandad died. We had the worst flood since 1998. The highway extension came. Okay. I love that. I love the options. I love the choice to figure out what's important to you right off the bat. So what's important to me? My Grandad died. And... Something natural, or something man-made? I think let's look at something man-made. We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got tra trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came in by his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Grandad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. Seems like fun memories. Hmm. In their wings, in their trees, they went looking for the gods. They feared death. In their wings, in their trees. Okay. Oh. Those are not exactly light ones. And their wings and their trees does not really speak to me. They went looking for the gods I love. I love the idea of going and looking for something tangible, especially after a flood. Caring about the natural world and holding something accountable for that. And they feared death. That one, I think, is accurate, but... Let's, let's have them look for the gods. And died in lonely places. Ouch, okay. Feels a bit hubristic and wow, okay. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window. The old empty mill, the old parking lots, at the old trains, at the old playground. All of them are old. So the lack of industry, the lack of people, the lack of a way out, the lack of children, perhaps. One way to break it down. Let's look at the lack of industry. 
at the old empty mill, windows half busted out. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Hearing how they went looking for their gods. That's... That, in and of itself, I think I would play a game like that for hours. I suppose that After Sword is just a visual novel, but... I find that impactful. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything. I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Awfully lonely. Oh, when did they put this up? Awesome Springs has never looked more... falsely advertised. Well, it's just putting the best foot forward. Visitors, visitors are going to be so let down when they see the actual town. Prepare to be disappointed, ye who enter here. Our town motto. Must be such a relief to pay phone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. Be cool to call my parents. Some jerk hole took the time to actually rip it off. <laughs> who steals a phone? People who are desperate and know where they can flip it for a tenth of the price. Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Good for you, May. Good to have folks to look up to. The game show startled me. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets are up today. Way up. I'm looking at a chart and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs, mostly in the chart sector, which is notoriously recession proof. Lovely. Hello. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45. It's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Spring these days. Just you. Understandable. Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? So, are you the janitor or something? <laughs> well, <laughs> given where I have worked and how critically understaffed they were, that's relatable. Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. I feel that. It's nice to have some sort of noise going on. Can I squeeze past you? Nope, just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go me grab me a fia fiascola from the machine? Fiascola from- oh, Fiasco Fox. Fiascola? I think that scan's a lot better written. Grab me a Fiascola from the machine. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice! Free as in free. Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. <laughs> Seems like the man's on the up and up. What the? I have lime fiasco and he wants a Fiascola? That's just a waste. A cola and a lime, okay. Okay, just gotta grab it. I guess this little game mechanic. Good way to introduce it. We've got your Fias Cola, sir. One free ass cola. <laughs> Definitely the best way to open it. So, what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Hmm. Strange. When do you think that door's going to be finished? No. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Oh, what was that about getting creeped out if you're here all alone? Oh, I love the contrast of the vending machine still bright. It's fun thinking about things that are still operating and going when we aren't there. Kinda creeps me out, makes me a little sad, but... I don't know, the, the lonely things that are still awake when we aren't. Bus station? 
I'm not walking back out to the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? Hmm, I kind of like walking by highways. Now, I will say, this is something that other people have noticed. I love watching some Loading Ready Run, and when they were playing through, um, they point out that janitor, the root word derives from, ja uh, like, Ianus, I think? Uh, from Janus, the uh, Roman deity of, like, choices and uh, doorways and such. So janitors are sort of uh, guardians of passageways and choices. So, I don't know, that feels very symbolic. Don't know if it's intentional or not, but... We're beginning our journey, speaking to a guardian of choices and journeys, and that's what we're doing. Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. Oh, they follow me. Hello, friends. The bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. Makes for a good first or last impression, I suppose. Not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. Oh, there was some place I was driving where right on the entry to the border, you've got on one end a uh, government building with busted out glass, and on the other a freshly opened Hooters. And <laughs> boy, if that doesn't leave an impression. Wow, I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. Used to hear it in my bed at night, during the winter when the leaves were down. Speaking of things that are still working after we're asleep, it's comforting. Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home, my bed, and my negligent parents. Hmm, well, it's night, and we're going in the woods. It is what it said on the package. Oh, I love how interactable the leaves are. And kick him around, take him with us. Look, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. Are these food donkey shopping carts? That's all the way across town. That's dedication. No? Well, humans? I guess there aren't humans, but humans are nature after a sort, so it's all dank nature. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Huh. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Ah, uh, corporate responsibility. Shopping bags are little ghosts of grocery stores haunting everywhere else. Correct, May. Oh wow, I heard a toad. And a ghost owl. I bet there are any number of potential witch familiars down here. Yes. Eschew nature, become a witch. That is the correct move. <laughs> I love the little observations. Playing with May is like playing with a cogent streamer. Ooh! Ooh, oh my god. That was dangerous! I could have died. That was amazing. <laughs> I am not going to die in this hole. I think that's a good aspiration to have. <laughs> NVN. Carving some little initials. Class of 99. There's a lot of little ghosts here. We only mentioned the shopping bags, but... Murph. Art RT. Yeah, there's a lot of ghosts haunting this town. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. I love the music starting up, and apparently no one else has. The soundtrack to this game is so good. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. I wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, mystery beasts of all shapes. 
Remember, Kathy, Domingo's boyfriend, took her here. Make out, and then break up. And then the next day, Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring. At the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you can still see Mr. Snorkels on this. This game does such a good job of capturing the weird little quirks of wherever you grew up. Oh, come on. Don't think I have the upper body strength to climb this. You can't keep me out, Possum Springs. I am queen of you. Could probably just jump off the telephone pole. Okay. But no, it's... It kind of speaks to, like, a platonic experience of childhood. Ahoy! I definitely remember barely reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. <laughs> Looks like this ladder's gone. If I could just get to the top, the top of this thing. Ugh. Hmm. I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number, of, the number logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can't stop running while I do this. Not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. Think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Maybe I should just give up without even really trying? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if I try- Oh, no! No! Oh! I was just trying to skip over the dialogue. Oh! But that's a cute accessibility. Should do this all the time. Maybe I can get my driver's license now. <laughs> I was just trying to negate the dialogue. There we go. Okay, so I need to tap each time. There we go. Oh yeah, no, I mean, it captures the weird little playground and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground, Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Rip, Grandad. Your parents forgot you. You are parents. May. Okay. Cute little journaling. I should do journaling. Let's not save and quit. When you feel out of control, remember that you always have options. Count to ten. Take a deep breath. Take a nice walk. Practice positive self-talk. IPS. Identify possible solutions. Smile. Options. It's good. Oh. It's, uh, it's like a little therapy document. Lovely. Oh! I'm on the tightrope. Oh, that's such... <laughs> such a crunchy sound. Whoop. Oof. Hello, May. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Oh, they know each other. Old friends. Hey, remember me? Ah! Uh, May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming home tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By Aunt Mallcop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No! I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? <laughs> the sadder face. Are we waiting for tomorrow night for that, too? Ah, May. So good to hear that voice again. Good night!
<laughs> Dad looks older. Lovely familial banter. Oh, that cat clock is creepy. Especially considering that they themselves are cats. I don't want to think about a human clock. Last this mess. Ooh. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. That requires further elaboration, and we're getting none. This thing goes off randomly every month or so. Little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound, scares Dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was Granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. Oh, I thought it was going to do it. Is this my room? No. <laughs> I'll explore. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? Wonder if Dad could move them. Yeah, Dad put them here, I bet. Dad should move them. It's only fair. Okay, so I'm not getting in here, and it's not my room. I do think it's sometimes a little quick on... making you do things. Okay, nothing over here. We have a pet bird. Oh, and... Those ones are in color, black and white, so... Old family, probably black and white photos, and then the modern ones. That's nice. I guess all the way upstairs. Witch dagger. Sacred youth. And bed. Oh, big stretch. loud. Well, that's peaceful. Oh, and it's not... <laughs> it's not a cutscene, so I bet it only uh, breaks it when I move. So, <laughs> I'll disrupt me, but... Oh, jump, okay. Oh, yep. Relatable, except for getting up that fast. I take a lot. Lo oh, no! I want to look at the thing. Let me back! I'm curious about everything. My bass. Could play some bass, but which song? Nah, later. Space Dragon. I will not do it now. We'll have other opportunities. Ah, the portrait I can look at. It was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have a traveling show. The Cute Borowskis. May Borowski. Don't think he's moved them overnight. Can we talk to the bird? No. Oh, yes. How is this bird still alive? <laughs> That's all the thoughts we have on the matter. But tells you a lot about how we view that bird. Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Okay, wait, can I? I cannot leave. No disregarding mother. Oh, she's cute. I like her style. <laughs> of course. Sit on <laughs> Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, Mom. May, honey? Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know what she means. Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. 
Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine, really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey. It's okay. Thanks, Mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in Town Center West by the Click Clack. I think I'll run over and say hey. We have a Snack Falcon now? Yeah, sick, we have a Snack Falcon? Oh yeah, it's so handy. <clears throat> you know, ever since the Food Donkey went out... The Food Donkey is gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes out to the Ham Panther out by the highway now. I love that it's all... Food item... Animal. <laughs> But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore. See what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be fall in Possum Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Her parents are very understanding. The... You can tell they're a little tense, but they're trying hard to support her, which is really sweet. That's important. Mom. Can't tell if that's hair that she's dyed a little bit or like a little scrunchy. So, what's been ha so what's been happening in town? Well, let's see. Did you hear Miss Crankler died? Who? You remember Riss Krangler? She taught your Girl Scout troop how to dance. Oh, wow. She was pretty old then, too. Oh, she was ancient, honey. She was ancient when I was your age. How did she die? From being ancient, honey. How old was she? 115. Wow. I know. If this were a contest, she'd have won. <laughs> Man. 115. And what, probably not much more than a 20-30 year age gap, so teaching May how to dance. Oh wow, I mean, May's still like young adult, so 20-ish years, so 95 teaching a dance class. <laughs> Dang. Part 1, home again. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. And go back in the house. Wait, can I jump on the squirrel? That is a very horrible fu I can jump on the mailbox. Oh, she, she smiles when she jumps? Okay, so I can get the tr Kill, kill, kill. I just want to jump on the squirrel, not murder it. Ooh! I remember the time in ninth grade when I snuck out and could see into Tom Bramwell's bedroom. <laughs> oh, the graphic is so much better than saying anything. Yep, that sure did happen. <laughs> it's just, it's full of memories that feel real. Well, sure is fall. All the road work is crammed in before winter. Makes like half the town inaccessible, unless you want to walk, walk the long way around for like 20 minutes, which, I mean, no. Come on, May. Walking's good for you. 20 minute walk actually sounds nice. Hey, Mr. Twigmire. May, is that you? Sure is. Nope. I'm gonna mess with him. Nope. Well, Looks like May. Bet it smells like May. I have a smell? When you were a kid, Susan used to call you a little dirt ball. Well, I was a dirt ball. I was never a dirt ball. I'll cop to it. Well, I was a dirt ball. Still are a dirt ball, I bet. Cradle to grave, 100% dirt ball. That's the spirit. See you around, Mr. Twigmire. <laughs> Lovely neighbors. 
So you don't squish the squirrel, but you can certainly make his day unpleasant. Oh, I feel bad for disrupting his raking, but hopefully he finds it meditative. Oh! Lovely little drawing. Selmers! What are you doing home? Dropped out? Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just don't go back? That's about it. Weird. So, how have you been? Okay. Me and Dennis split. Oh no! Yeah, he got a job at the new prison over in Brittle, and he met some girl at a gas station. Wow, what a jerk. Eh, he's a free agent. I guess. What's the word they use? For, like, a weapon you make in jail? A shiv? Like a knife? A shiv? Thank you, May. I hope so. I hope Dennis gets shivved at work. Just to scare him. Scare him good. That'd do it. Scare him right in the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Getting scared right in the kidney. Nice seeing you. Stop by any time. Alright. Selmer seems like a colorful character. Is that... A gravestone? What is... That looks an awful lot like a gravestone to me. Which is a little concerning on private property. Hello. What you doing on my porch? Great talking to you. Hey, Mr. Ch Chazikov. Hello, May, my best worst student. Uh, yeah. Like, like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? I dropped out of school. Oh. Well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope set up by then. Sure thing. This seems like a good teacher. Always had to have one or two teachers that were nice. Even if the rest weren't. We got pretty lucky in that regard. I remember when B's family had a house and not a tiny depressing apartment. Had to downsize, so great economy. These were the ones yelling kill kill. Hey, it's the Harleys. What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest. Oh wow, kids still talk about Little Joe? We used your DNA. You kids? Do you kids know what DNA is? Ghosts don't have DNA. <laughs> so little Joe is a ghost. Ghosts don't have DNA. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA. Hey lady, can you leave us alone? Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady? <laughs> Being made out to be older than you feel. Oh, wow. I love how the eyes track. It's, I, I need to play around with game development more, but... So they've got like a limiter and then just have a point there that... That's so cool. That's a little detail that makes a big difference. Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman. Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh no! They say construction's always hiring, but it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I'm open to suggestions. Don't give up. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. Uh, I feel like both of these are overly optimistic. But I think don't give up is at least a little more honest. Well, there's always, there's always a chance someone will die, and I can have their job. And you're not gonna, like, kill anyone, are you? Does it pay? That's concerning. I don't have a job either. Oh man, sorry to he talk your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good, just dropped out of college and I'm living with my parents. Oh. So you're basically a teenager again. 
No. Just an adult living with her parents. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're unemployed. It's just like you're lacking a daytime hobby. That pays money you don't need for rent. Alright, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep. Coming home from college can be strange. Kind of funneled into stuff throughout life, and then suddenly no longer. My god, what kind of weather did I miss? This is nuts. Oh well, wasn't going to church anyway. Ah, so I guess that's the, the flood. Thought this place is falling apart. Thought this place is falling apart. <laughs> uh, yup. What, your dying little rust belt town? Hmm. Oh, it's like a little bulletin board. Scrapbooking Odyssey, scrapbooking Odyssey. Okay. I can't grab that one. Okay, I can't grab the ones with the pin. Ooh, but I can grab those. Katie Washington has never lost a child. Uh... <laughs> that needs more context. Something... The singing... Repairsman? Okay. Good business, good mix. Firewood for sale? I have too much firewood. Don't even know how? Tim's landscaping. Okay. Missing. Casey Hartley. Oh, little cat man. Casey Hartley, 19, of Possum Springs. Last seen at dusk on June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and black canvas shoes. If you have any information as to the location of Casey Hartley at any time since his last known sighting, please contact the Possum Springs Police Department immediately. As I remember him. I hope he's okay. Harvest? Oh my gosh, it's like Harvest, but... Oh. It took... I never realized that watching it. Possum Springs Annual Harvestacular. Celebrate the fall colors with your neighbors. Rides, contests, food, games, and the anu annual Crazy Costume Parade. October 21st through 24th, Town Center. Sponsored by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce, Blessed Rest Funeral Parlor, Cat Rosser, and Cat Rosser Attorneys, and Ham Panther. Well, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? Well, it's, it's yarn. Oh man, it bounces. Yeah, May is just my inner, my, I almost said dialogue, but I suppose it's a monologue. Oh, and you can catch it mid, oh. Can't throw it, but this sort of drops. <laughs> and small bits of interactability that make a huge difference. Town center platform. Trolley side news, pretzel and pierogi. Oh, I should make pierogi. Hey, I just got back into town, and the one thing I missed most was... Hey! I remember you! Hello! Thief! Oh, come on. That was years ago. Once a thief, always a thief. Alright, you know what? I'm not a thief, take that back. This isn't even a restaurant. Let's deflect. This isn't even a restaurant, it's a crappy food stand in a hole. This establishment has been in business for 50 years. 50 crappy years in a hole. You know what else has been a hole for 50 years? Dead people from the 60s. No respect. No respect this one. You can keep your whole pretzels. And your damp pierogies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go jump in the river. I would love to run a weird little food stand like this. That actually, that, that sounds like a good vibe. Delicious pretzels. Delicious pretzels, okay. Not stealing them after an argument. Oh, the mural of our history. And the cool teenagers. I, 
works of public commissioned art like that that are gorgeous but you know it's how oh, they're, they're just they exist in such a weird space there's not a lot of them around where I am but I love them when I get to see them hey fellow teens hey teens hey what are you guys doing mm, nothing cool Cool that people still hang around down here. We used to do that when I was in high school. Yeah. Wasn't in high school that long ago, you know. How old are you? Twenty. Oh, so you can't buy beer. No. You have a car? N no. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Transactional much? Seemed like they would make great friends. They're just self-filtering. Oh, cool bench. Usually someone fishing here for the tunnel fish, because why the hell not? Tunnel fish? The tunnel flooded and we lost a bit more land to the fish. <laughs> I... Tunnel fish? Oh man, I don't want to think about what... Where those come from, and where they're going. What? Where exactly are you planning on going? I don't know, Am Panther. But honey, you're only gonna get minimum there. I hear they're mur- This place is murder. I don't think I can handle one more incoming call. I wake up sometimes because I hear that bing noise. Nowadays, I just take a sleeping aid. Works wonders. We shouldn't have to drug ourselves to get our sleep back from this job. Well, Ham Panther isn't going to give you a bonus. Ham Panther doesn't even have a leaderboard. But it isn't calls. It isn't sales. It wouldn't be waiting for that thing. I don't know, honey. Maybe you'll have a good shift today and get on the leaderboard. We'll see how you feel then, I guess, but it won't change anything. Yeah, your sanity is important. So is a job, but sometimes you gotta make a change, even if it's a little scary. Oh! Howdy, cholera! Hey, killer. Ugh, don't call me that. Who are you? Laurie M? How do you even know about the killer thing? It was a big deal, even to us middle schoolers. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. And what did the middle schoolers say? You put him in the hospital, and no one knows why. Did he, like, have it coming or something? N no Our mothers told us not to talk to you. No one knew you were going when you were going to do it again. Well, say hi to your mom for me. She sounds lovely. Oh, she's gone. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Yeesh. <laughs> Just lots of weird little folks all around. Big skeleton of the burned out building. How's your day been going, cholera? feel bad, but I enjoy stepping on the squirrels. Video put post 2. Lovely cutesy misspelling. 2? Is that like 2? Or like, also? This is an error so bad, even I wouldn't make it. But it is in quotes, which implies it was intentional. Also, where was the other video outpost? Good question. You would know better than I. Oh my gosh, look at the cat. Oh. Lost abilities. Family Italian dine and take out. And the Social Security Administration. Got the feeling this town has a lot of people going there. Haven't really seen anyone happy with their job or at a particularly... Fulfilling one, it seems. Miller's. It's almost five. Quitting time. Pick back some brews and watch the smelters. Gotta keep them entertained. Pan them at circuses. Oh, annoyed the pigeon. There's the snack falcon to say hi to Greg. But what's to the left? 
What's at the edge of the world? Click clack diner. Don't think I'm gonna find Greg out by the abandoned food donkey. Better head snack falcon words. That's a good job of providing ambiance. Snack to school. Hmm. Crunchster? Angry Pepper and Original. Oh. My. God. Hey, Greg. What are you doing here? I'm back. Like, back as in today? Oh, his eyes. Back as in back. Too bad you didn't die at college. Too bad you didn't catch a flesh-eating disease. Too bad you didn't join a murder cult. Too bad you didn't lose all your limbs in a freak soda machine accident. God, it's good to see you. Uh... How's Angus? You two still a thing? Hold on. Oh, Greg is adorable. What are you doing? Changing the music. Ooh, good vibes. What? Angus! What are you doing here? I love that he changed the music. I'm being reminded of a friend who works in a little retail store. Doesn't change the music, but always likes to comment on uh, some very, like, Japanese jazz pop stuff that they turn on for when they're not too worried about how folks are going to feel about it. What are you doing here? I live here. Since when? <laughs> the arm flaps. Since last night, 11 or so? That's amazing. Come to band practice. Oh my god, the band is still a thing? Sure. When's practice? Now. When do you get off work? Now. Really? <laughs> ah. Yo. I get that. There's... Sorry, I'm realizing that I don't get to see the chat on the screen when I've got it full screen, so I'm going to see if I can get it so that I can do that without having to look at the phone. I'm glad that's been going decently, even if it's sort of end the end of the day, so struggling to keep up the energy levels. Okay. That right there is probably not a great viewing experience. Can I make it larger? All right. I think that's decently sized. That should hopefully allow the chat to show up. Well, I appreciate you popping in even when it's at the end of your day. Hopefully I can be something nice and chill towards the end. Oh! <laughs> you know, if I'm going to have to redo a part, it might as well be meeting Greg. He is such a delight. <laughs> Their banter is... Uh, <laughs> it's very natural friend stuff. Ah, uh, I was Angus, you two still a thing. Hold on. Going from Muzak to music. Snookle. We card you. What? Angus, what are you doing here? I live here. He's so excited and does not... <laughs> He's just talking past you. He's too excited. Birthday zone. Oh, is this at like one of the like children's pizzeria esque things that have creepy animatronics normally? Hi, Angus. Hey, it's you. It's May. It's May. Ah! So the party barn went out, huh? Yeah, not sure how it ever stayed open. 
Like, how many parties are there, really? You need a lot of parties to keep a barn running. I have your old base. Oh, dude, I don't think I even remember. You know, I, I would assume that it was more like a some sort of Grange Hall uh, public space uh, if it's going to stay open, get subsidized, basically. Um, hey, B, uh, May's back. Oh, wow, hi. Yeah, hi. That's not awkward. She's totally back! Wait, what? Are you, uh, here for band practice? I play drums. That's not drums. That's computer. It's fine, she also does your bass parts. Well, I understood them as THE bass parts, but I can turn them off. Turn them off on your computer. May, we're totally gonna play a song. You totally have to play bass. I don't even remember. Those aren't even drums. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I love this song. <laughs> Our is where we used to play. Must trace a tired old feet. Apologies for the singing. Circles as we pace our time away. I just wanna die anywhere else. This would be something that. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I hate messing it up. But you know, they would love to actually have a video like this for their performances. It's come to play. I'm just jamming. <laughs> Me. Marching all the Rados drift away. I just wanna die anywhere else. I also love that we don't actually hear them sing. It's just the music, and yet, I love the lyrics. They are sentiments I've heard from a number of folks before. Old home, never stop to think, and for no I think I'm getting a passing grade. Just not here. Whoa. Pretty good. Yeah, that was okay. Not bad considering I don't know this song. Holy crap. That was hard to do. We'll get back in practice. I hope. Jeez. My wrist hurts. That was great, man. Man, I... Oh. Don't know how to comment while also just enjoying the song, but man, that's... Uh, just the sentiment of just want to die anywhere else. I've met a lot of folks kind of stuck in their small towns, and that I think cuts right to the core of what a lot of people, they just want to be anywhere else experience something different and i i love how well this taps into that i love that it's a song that i know the lyrics to even though never heard them sung it was great man like just seeing you back playing your old horrible bass okay are we doing this diner thing yeah woo yay hip hip Mmm. Hell yeah. Did you miss Pizza May? They have pizza at school. Oh, cool. Oh, gotta grab some. Oh! He leaves the crust? This pizza isn't great. It's pretty horrible. Dudes, have you heard of the pizza scale? The what? 
there's a scale of pizza. On one end, there's the worst pizza. But, like, everything right above that is still really good. What's at the other end of the scale? It's pizza all the way up. Pizza good. Oh, <laughs> trying to... <laughs> I'll take a crust. Wait, can I help him out? No. Come on, Angus. Okay, fine. I'll just take the crust. Don't like to leave a mess. I mean, it's no possibilities. Hmm, I miss possibilities. Oh, did you just eat my crust? I like crusts. Oh, looks like someone else went off to school and got all the fan and got all fancy and eats crusts now. We should have gone to possibilities. The diner has ambiance. The seats are comfy. The food is terrible, but it's got charm. You too fancy for the diner now? Guys, please. I was raised in this diner. You and like a zillion rats. Okay, but May seems to be a rat. So, when are we gonna get out? Play out. <laughs> May, we don't play out. Oh. We have jobs, May. I work at the video outpost, too. I'm at the old pickaxe. I thought you were going to school? Isn't that your dad's store? I thought you were going to school. Huh. <laughs> yeah, well, life happens. I'm Lord of the Snack Falcons! Yes, Greg. Where's Casey? Oh yeah, you wouldn't know, huh? Casey's gone. Gone? Gone how? Off to train, I bet. Oh wow, he always talked about doing that. Yeah, one day he was just gone. Made a clean break, hasn't emailed or anything. Well, good for him, I guess. Parents put up missing post person posters, but everyone knew what happened. Jeez, Casey, I... Huh. Mm-hmm. And what exactly do you do, May? I was in college. And why exactly are you not still there? Man, screw school. Didn't work out. Hmm, imagine that. Wow, tense. Well, we better get home, dude. Oh yeah, Angus got a date with Sword People Online. <laughs> sword Art Online? Aw, lucky. I like that everyone is concerned for her, and they aren't going to push entirely, but obviously they aren't going to let it just slide. It's really great to be back. Dude, we can hang out every day. Oh my god. Holy crap. What? Is that an arm? That's an arm. Oh, that is an arm. Nobody move. Let's poke it with a stick. I call first. Oh no. May, this is like tampering with evidence. Oh, I am so going to have to start worrying about getting dismembered on my way home. Shh, I want to watch this. You don't need your ears to watch. Shh. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. This feels unwise. Oh, there's a cock... Oh. Generally speaking, would like to avoid... Oh my god. Okay, I think I need to roll up this- oh. Who in their right mind would see a dismembered arm and go, you know what, I'ma poke it. Ooh. Whoa, what's that? Some kind of mark. What? Is that a tattoo? That's a tattoo. What is it? I think you just sleuth sleuthed out a clue, dude. Oh, for F's sake, you two. Here come the cops. Now what's going on here? Uh-oh. Hey, Aunt Molly, we found an arm. All right, May, put the stick down and step away from the arm. All right, all right, don't taser me or anything. No promises. Oh, well, I think it's time for Angus and I to get home. See you tomorrow, May. All right, I don't want any of you walking home alone tonight. Buddy system, something bad's going on. Really, with the dismembered arm, you don't say. I can drive May home, officer. Thank you, B. Yeah, thanks, B. Let's roll. Oh, 
Oh, the ride home with concerned friends. So, working at the old pickaxe. Yep. Are they training you to take over the family business? They? Um, your parents? Mm. Hey, look, we're here. Oh, my house isn't... My house actually isn't for a few blocks. Get out. Okay. Uh, thanks for the ride. Go. I wonder what happened between them. I honestly don't remember. Um, but it obviously wasn't good. Gregory's Pizza Scale. Fancy. Too fancy. Good as hell. Normal delivery. Frozen. Cheap. Bad. Avoid. Uneatable. <laughs> That's, I will agree with the, like, too fancy. Sometimes it's just... It's simply too much. Sometimes I want my terrible cardboard uh, crust pizza, right? But I don't... I don't know if I've ever had a pizza that was truly just too bad. Um... I, there, funnily enough, one of the worst pieces, one of the worst slices I had was in Italy. Um, I, I, I think it was just sort of tourist trappy, and that's why it just wasn't great. I just, it was way too much sauce. It, it was basically eating bread with heaps of tomato sauce on it, which I'm sure there are some people where that's their thing. Not my, not my cup of tea. Arm. Tattoo. Observations. Chopped. Severed. Important distinction, I suppose. Army jacket. On sidewalk. A regular detective. Ah, oh, die anywhere else. Egg rules, okay. I love the drawing style. Um, it's very simplistic, but very earnest. I suspect that May feels a lot better about her art than I feel about mine, even though I think I've got... A slightly better handle on the technical aspects of it. Um, I wish I had what she had. <laughs> All right. Bless this mess. Ooh. Wait, can I? Oh, oh, I can change if I'm in front or in back by jumping up or down. Okay. Hey, kitten. Rawr. Listen, May, I'm sorry about last night. Really thought you were coming home tonight. It's okay. It's okay, I guess. I think it's just okay. Went through the ravine by the old mill. Almost died. What? Yeah, Long's almost killed me. Normal stuff. Well, I promise you'll never I'll never leave you stranded again. Tell you what. How about we pretend I did come home tonight and we just got back from the bus station. Start over? Yeah. Okay. Hey Dad? Hey May. Thanks for picking me up. Welcome home, May. I'm going to go to sleep, I think. Well, you've had a big day. Good night, kitten. Hey. It's a it's a little weird, but I think it's healthy. It's still funny, though. That's sweet. I'm finding ways to coexist. Oh, now that is gorgeous sound design. You can't hear it much over here, but when you're in here, you can hear, like, the refrigerator and just the low electronic hum. It feels like standing... <laughs> feels like standing in my own kitchen. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you. What? We found an arm on the ground today. Are we still pretending it's yesterday? No, we came out of the click-clack and there was an arm. Just like, an arm? What? Aunt Malkop came and everything. Oh my god, that's really... weird? I poked it with a stick. Okay, really, May, don't poke dead body parts with sticks? Too late. Well, I'll have to email Molly. All right. Good night for real now. Yeah, I don't know how, as a parent, you would respond to that. 
I don't know how I as a non-parent would respond to myself coming across an arm. I can't imagine responding to my kid poking an arm with apparent disregard for anything. Still didn't get around to moving it. Up to bed we go. Been a big busy day. And now I bet we can play the other song. But which song? Space Dragon and Die Anywhere Else. It's all I at some point I'll do Space Dragon. I feel a little awkward uh, streaming just playing the music, but man, I love Space Dragon. I love the sort of like stoner metal vibes. Bedtime? No? Yes. Yes. Sleepy time. Loud. The sleep sequence is very peaceful, but... Ooh, wake up! Something, something, put on a little makeup. Wow, it's been literally 36 hours since I've been online. Ooh. Media detox. This shall not stand. I had an assignment in college for a media class, I remember, where we had to do a media fast. Um... It was surprisingly difficult because there were screens even in the cafeteria, so trying to make sure that I didn't watch the news just incidentally while eating. It's also a lot tougher to find your friends. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, I imagine there was a lot more comfort just hanging out in central places before cell phones, which probably makes me sound real young. Um, but that would be a very different, much more spontaneous vibe. This shall not stand. Oh, okay. Great browsing, May. I'm not necessarily a fan of an antivirus, but... <laughs> what is wrong with you? Damn it. I bet Angus knows how to fix this. He's all computery. I think, but I can't let him see this. Where does he work again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not a big fan of antiviruses, but man, May, you... You could just browse a little safer. Oh, is it just going to do it again? Okay, yeah, I cannot do anything with this. So off to find Angus in the video 2. The very suspicious video 2. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hi. Is this an intervention? Morning, mom. Nope. I'm mom 24 hours a day. Har har har. Also, it's 4 p.m., sweetie. Well, I'm off to find Angus. Oh, is he your little friend Greg's boyfriend? Big guy, kinda quiet? Yeah, that's him. I need him to fix my laptop. Well, he better, sweetie. You can't afford to buy a new one. Wait, do you even know Angus? Do you? Kinda? Well, we are in a band together, sorta. Kinda? Realize that maybe you should be a better friend. Well, no time like the present. Thanks, 24-hour mom. Seven days a week. It's very sweet. Anything else? You got a call from your Aunt Molly. Ugh, what did Aunt Mollcop want? Sweetie, I really wish you wouldn't call her that. She worked very hard to get where she is. And it's a dangerous job. Oh yeah, Possum Springs is so dangerous. Anyway, did she tell you about the severed arm we found? She did, in fact. Scary things. Yeah, I guess. Honey, I know this is home. But please be careful out there. I will, Mom. 
and come home before dark unless you're with somebody, at least until they figure out what happened. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. Maybe try to not piss off the friend who's giving you a ride. Hey, you kid! Adult? So you're back, eh? Uh, yes, Mr. Penderson. Didn't last long, eh? No, Mr. Penderson. You get a job yet? I've only been back for like 24 hours. Yes, I've been elected mayor. Sarcasm, always the best option. Hmm. Couldn't do worse than the current one. And I've ordered your house to be bulldozed. What, finishing the job you started? I hope you enjoy living in the woods. Those eggs take took the paint off the vinyl siding. Scavenge food. Commune with the beasts, Mr. Penderson. Watch yourself, little miss. Little effing miss? No one's forgotten who you are and what you did, you know. They may act like they have. But that's just a small town polite right there. Is that what it is? Small town polite's all you got, kid. So watch it. Well, that was really interesting, but I need to go listen to my cells die. Ha! <laughs> ha! Seems like a real charmer. We seem like a real charmer. Egging his house. I know that there's not much entertainment, but... Yikes. Wow, I'm great at nailing those squirrels. What's it like being back? Well, I just got home, so... Just like taking it all in. Feel like anything's changed? Yeah, totally. Hmm, not really. That's kind of a weird one, because it's both, right? I mean, like, coming home, I remember it astounded me how much did feel the same. But, obviously there were new things built up, and... It does certainly feel different. And I, it seems that may, you know, things have been super different with, you know, her friends have jobs, they've changed what businesses are around, but at the same time, she's running into all of her old friends, all of her old haunts. It feels similar and nostalgic. But I think, I think she's been experiencing more change, whereas we don't have that comparison. So yeah, totally. Park store's gone, got a snack falcon now, food donkey's gone, got a ham panther though. The Harleys are bigger now, saw them running around before. Yeah, I babysit those little shits sometimes. Are they bad? They seem so nice. That's how they fool ya. You know they steal things? What? They steal things. Holy crap, I was fooled. Yeah, but May seems to be a thief too. You know, don't cast the first stone and all that. This is my property, but it's my street. You ain't changed since you was a kid. <laughs> Good banter. Hmm. Watch. Let's check out the Poroshki. Or sorry, Porogi. <gasps> tunnelfish man. Pale white tunnelfish. Easy to catch and so delish. That's good! Oh god, you were listening. Uh, feels a little bit like that while streaming. <laughs> oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa? Hmm, I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How did you know Granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime and I'll tell you all about him. Things you might not know. All right, you've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. I feel like they... dated. 
I don't remember, but... It's either some sort of horrible dark secret, which I think I would rem remember, or... Mm, it's going to be more personal history. Delicious pretzels. No stealing. I am not a sneak thief. The mural. The kids are gone. Must be off doing important, I'm sure, school things. Doop, doop, doop. Did I miss anything interesting walking by? Huh, Angus's store? Oh, let's pop in. Sure. Oh, you are not Angus. Death Chill 3. Be nice. Brain Eaters. Prime Waves. Can I help you? I don't think so. I thought... I could have sworn Angus said he worked here. Such good ambiance. Okay, could hop into the Snack Falcon. Let's see, did they do any sort of crime scene investigation for the arm? If they did, it's already wrapped up. Nice and efficient. I just want my computer, I need the internet. It's more important than whatever's out there. <laughs> debatable, May. Highly, highly debatable. Actually, I guess I... Well, let's try seeing Greg, and maybe Greg will know where he is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man, he must get bored. Hey, mate. Got cups on my ears. Wow. Why? Pass the vibe check. Wow. Sounds like the ocean in here. That's great, dude. You seen Angus? Every night. Yeah, I, I meant, like, where is Angus right now? At work. At the video store. What do you want Angus for? Got computer problems. Figured he might know a thing or two. He's a hacker. Really? I'm pretty sure he hacks. Wow. Cool dude. I'll catch you later. Definitely. I'm so glad you're back. Fruit ghost. I'm glad you are here, Greg. So, that arm, huh? Jeez, yeah. What the hell? What do you think happened? I don't know. How does an arm end up on the sidewalk? In Possum Springs. I mean, kind of cool, but creepy? And like, two doors down from our apartment? You live in Towny Century now? Yeah, we live next door. <laughs> Man, you have been away for a long time. I have. I wonder how Greg's boss feels about him. I hope that he is beloved by his boss and just gets away with his weird, wonderful self just fine. Lost abilities, video outlet too. I was right, but there was something important first. Can I help you? Where's Angus? Oh, he works day shift? Is it day? I got here early? Wait, why does everything you sound say, uh, say sound like a question? You do the same thing? I just didn't comment on it? Really? Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Awkward. Night shift, huh? That's cool. I'm at home with my baby during the day, until my mom gets back from work? Ew, babies. Pretty cool job, though? Get to watch movies, eat candy, meet cute guys? Ew, cute guys? What's wrong with guys? I don't know, cute guys are overrated. <laughs> Fair, eh? 
Oh, broken heart. Okay. So, Angus isn't there. Greg! Where's your boyfriend? Give him to me. Do I need to take the cups off your ear? You up for hanging out later? So much to catch up on. Now I got dinner with the family. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Hmm. A friendly thing. <laughs> Is it six o'clock yet? Okay. Guessing that's when he gets off work, so... We just gotta pass some time. Wander the town. Still can't. I just want my computer. I need the internet. More important than whatever's out there. This game is amazing because it's not very complex, but it's a compelling story. They did a really good job with the ambiance and adding a lot of little details to make up for kind of the lack of, you know, huge interactability. It feels so alive. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's got a lot going for it, even though it's just very simple and streamlined. Wonder maybe I can do something up with the power lines. But yeah, there's just there is a lot of love put into this game. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Can't catch me. It's also very musical. Since I haven't done a huge amount of reading about the folks who developed this game, but I get the feeling that this was a huge labor of love. I'm sure that most games are, but you feel it. Arnold Applebaum owned the mining company like a thousand years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions. But we did get a library. That got turned into apartments. Hmm. <laughs> so, strong union ethic? Hmm. Don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great-grandfather to those children's children. Keeps going like that for a while. Erected 1910. Very self-aggrandizing, but I'm guessing he is a possum, and the reason is Possum Springs. Oh, no! I didn't want to fall off. No. There we go. So, strong Union Town. Makes a certain amount of sense. Ooh, can I... No, I cannot go in there. I'm on top of the world! Aha! And it very quickly introduces you to pretty much all the mechanics. Ghosts. Ah! Laundry ghosts. Ooh. Oh, now I want to get good at drawing clothes so I can make clothing ghosts. Ooh. 
I think I have a great great uncle or something on this. Yep, there you go, Anselm Borowski. Anselm? Even in life, he was tragic. <laughs> uh, don't be so mean. At least it's not Clive Staples Lewis. Third time's the charm, right? Okay. Still just talking about that. Hmm. So how do I pass time? Oh. Someone's house? Um. Or a public building? Oh! Hello? 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 I'm looking for Angus. Any idea where Angus lives? I believe he is at number two. Written on the button, I think. It looks, uh, broken. I think the little guy he lives with kicked it in. <laughs> Greg? Or something. How... Beats me, kid. I just live here. That... <laughs> feels very Greg. Click. Hello, Angus? Are you searching, my child? Yeah. For Angus. You can search all you like for your Angus. Everyone has a different Angus. For some, Angus is a happy marriage. For some, a good career. For some, a fancy car. My Angus is a guy named Angus. Lives here. My child, no Angus will ever compare to the one true Angus, the Lord God above. Okay? Dear, have you ever encountered God this day? Look, my mom works at the church. I'm in the club by default. Click. Okay. Click. Hello? 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 You're not Angus. Who is this? Who are you? May hey, Borowski. What are you selling? Do you get a lot of people selling you stuff? Hello? Click. I'm a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Click. Maurice? May. Angus? May? Yeah. You're not Angus. And you ain't Maurice. Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. Click. Click. Yes? Uh, hi, Angus? Angus, you say? D dude it's May. Tell me about yourself, Maybelline. Mm, this isn't Angus. Would you like it to be? Nope. Bye. Click. So can we press? What? There's no button. Hmm. There's gotta be some way to make this work. So we've tried all of them. Wait. <laughs> okay. I complete the circuit. Hello? Ah! Who is this? Hi! It's, uh, May. Lightly crisp. May? Uh, yeah, May. I just got electrocuted. Oh, yeah, it's fiddly. There's no button. Yeah, you can, like, stick a screwdriver in and... Well, it's too late now. Uh, come on up. Oh, that is not how an elevator should behave. Run away! No. Whoa, come right in. Hey, dude. Uh... Welcome to our apartment. They could have been in my underwear. Hey, dude, don't... Don't wear pants on my account. Why was the door unlocked? Greg always forgets to unlock it. To lock it. Greg's at work if you're looking for Greg. I was actually looking for you. My laptop is messed up and I thought, what's wrong with it? Lots of things pop up when I turn it on. What kinds of things? You know, things about... Things, not for kids things. Nothing, just things. I'll be more honest. 
Why didn't you bring it with you? I forgot it? Mm-hmm. You know, May, you don't have to be embarrassed about... I'm not. I mean, everyone. I know. Hmm, let me see what I can do. Okay. Look, her mom works at the church. I can understand being a little... A little... Uh, uncomfortable about it. Okay, I got something for you. Plug this into any USB port and restart. Should clear you right up. Might delete some of your old files, though. Wow, thanks, dude. No problem. Gonna head on home. See if your magic works. It's not magic. It's just ones and zeros. And we're just atoms. And our perception of reality is just chemical reactions. Take those away and poof, there goes the universe. I would get along well with Angus. Whoa. Sorry. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Angus out here dealing with, uh... Oh, who wrote the... Is it Schopenhauer? The world is, uh, will and idea. Angus. I'll actually go on to his level. Hey, debtors. Why is if it isn't the mayor of Possum Springs herself? What did you get up today? Hung out with Angus a bit. You remember him? Oh yeah, li I like Angus. He's smart. In the old days, I used to work with his dad. You know, they fell on some hard times after we all got laid off. Used to see him all the time at the bar. Yeah. After I stopped drinking, I didn't really see him as much. I wonder how he is. Did they find out anything about that arm? Not that I heard. Hmm, well, be careful out there. Yeah, maybe I should carry mace or brass knuckles or something. Well, it'd be a shame if you got into trouble. And were unarmed. Nah, I think I'll be okay. Hmm, what? Hmm, uh, okay, I get it. Unarmed, eh? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. Thank you, Maze Dad. That was painful and delightful. Good night, Mayor Kitten. Good night. All right. Still hasn't done it. Still hasn't done it. Also, I, I hope that just plugging in the USB drive doesn't make it work, because, come on, man, even in what, the 2010s? Shouldn't have an auto run just working off a USB stick. That's bad. Let's see if this Angus fix works. Can't get any worse, at least. I guess it could be on fire. Anyway. OMG, it's fixed! Fantastic Yum's Donut Wolf. Good background. I guess it turned out okay then, your computer? Yeah, it did, thanks. I put something else on that drive. Do you remember Demon Tower? Oh, wow, yeah, I used to play that game all the time, like ten years ago. I've been playing again. They've kept updating it. You can grab your old save game from the server and start right where you left off. Ooh, cool. You should check it out and we can talk Demon Tower sometime. It's really cool still. I am deaf doing this. Thanks, Angus. Tips hat. Hey, you get that porn off your laptop? I heard you broke it with so much porn. I did not. Dude, you know it. Rick Wreckage told me that before the internet, they'd hide porn in a hollow log in the woods. Yeah, that was a thing, right? Be awkward if you were hiking out to the porn. <laughs> And some dude was already there, and you're like, Sup, dude? Yes, we're both here for the born. I bet that happened. You know it did. I bet they became friends. <laughs> Poor log bros forever. So, dude, you're coming to the party tomorrow night, right? What party? Up in the state forest. Lots of people home from school and stuff this weekend. Cool people. The big fire, the snacks, the beers. Girl, you know I will. 
Did you mean to write snacks or snakes? <laughs> Both, dude. Both. Cool, well, you should be ask B if she can drive us. What? No, I don't think she likes me. Nah, dude, she's cool. She drives us all the time and lets us borrow her car. Stop by her store tomorrow and ask, okay, please? Okay, whatever. Yay! Everyone needs a friend like Greg. Oh, the pizza cursor. Oh, chatterbox. Right, Harper Gazette, Secretary of Education. Having public schools is like having public hamburgers. That's insane. Everyone should buy their own hamburgers. <laughs> no comments. Oh, wow. Let's check out Demon Tower. <laughs> Angus was nice to us. Let's take some interest in what he's doing. In the Age of Blood. A pale one will rise, wielding naught but a simple blade, who dares to climb the steps of... Ancient Doom Spire? Demon Tower! Oh, that font! Oh. Part 4, Slaughter of the Blood Thief. Imagine if this is like Netscape. <laughs> Oh, I'm... Again, the... I guess, you think myself Netscape. That's... Was that one of the, um, early browsers, or...? Okay, yeah, it was one of the browsers. Oh, man. <laughs> that's actually... At some point, I should go and just delve and look at a lot of the browsers that I've never touched. I... I have, I have some vague memories of like being on Yahoo Games and such when I was younger, um, but that's about as far back as I reach. It took me a little while to get online. Oh, that feels like a good old CD-ROM game. Okay, space is dash. Do I have? It? Okay, C is attack. Okay, one hit kill. Collectibles. Is that good or a bad one? Uh, not... Do I have... Okay, there's a cooldown. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, little turn into bombs. Ah. Look at me, an amazing reflex gamer. Ah, okay. Health pickup. Okay, that's a boundary. Man, I, I love games within games. Oh, uh, I got... <laughs> I got stunlocked! Oh, sorry about the mic. I look more tired. Or am I older? And I... No, okay, I dashed and now I'm like at normal speed. I wonder if there was a crouch that I hit somehow? I'm curious if there's an end goal to this. Like, is there a way to go up floors, I imagine? This is making me want to play, like, SimCity, or 
or even like Jamma Sam. Okay, so I guess that's probably a way to move. Okay, it's just one room. Okay, X. What am I doing? A key. Ah, so now I can go through the door. Just like every cheap horror game on Steam. Boop. Boss fight? <laughs> Not a very tough boss fight. <laughs> okay. Level 11. The cellar. I'm... Was that a shopkeeper? Did I just murder a shopkeeper? Ghosts? Maybe one of them's Little Joe. Ooh, a two hit enemy. Oh, actually, you know, it really makes me want to play some Dungeon Siege. Lovely little top down uh, dungeon crawler game that I, I think is to date probably the game I still have the most hours in, even though it was not good as such. Uh, but man, now I loved all of the like little crypts where they would try and make it nice and spooky, even though it really wasn't. Okay, River of Blood damages us. Okay, we can dash, and I guess dashing can help get out of a stun lock. Yikes. <laughs> Spend a health getting a health. So many ghosts. Oh, they're like draining my energy. I guess that is a very ghosty thing to do. I need to go... Okay, there's a health. Okay. So I'm still looking for the key. It will probably be in another little outcropping. Did I go to the central area? And I, I would be happy if I could make a game like this. I should try making a simple game like this. Start small. There's something over here I missed. Hmm. Maybe it's in a pot? Oh. Oh. My biggest enemy. Myself. A net hack stream. CDDA. I need to look these up again. But I... By the names, I'm guessing these are sort of fun retro games. Net hat. Oh. Okay. Roguelike. And it's... Is that... It's not quite ASCII art, but a, some of it is... Wow. That seems sweet. 
CDDA. Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Okay. I love the art style. ASCII art is awesome. I remember seeing stuff ported into, like, Doom ASCII art. Oh. Um, yeah, I'll take a look. There's, um... I found on Steam at one point a game called Moonring that had kind of similar looking vibes. Um, and it was one of those things that I opened up and immediately went, I want to save this for a day when I'm going to have a blast just getting into it. This is not a dip my toe in, this is a sit down for eight hours getting super excited about it. <laughs> Are those games that um, you came across when you were, like, on the younger side, got some nice nostalgia? Or ones that you've gotten to find more modern day and you're like, yeah, these are sick, these remind me of some of the stuff I used to play. See a key. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think that is absolutely a correct observation. That's, I remember I got a bunch of ads a while back for a game that was apparently like 10 years in the making where every sprite is ASCII art. Um, I can't remember the name, I'll need to find that, but that might be a fun, just like, set aside a day of just cool, cool sort of minimal art style game, minimalistic art style games, mostly ASCII. It's honestly, you know, I, with pixel art, you would think that I would have done, played around with ASCII art a bit more, but... It's not one I've really dipped my toe into. I've always let the computers handle it. Okay, is this going to be a harder boss? Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> I will call that good. Surrender to the horror? Yes. I give myself over. That's actually sort of older retro stuff reminds me. Um, at some point, I should stream um, Magic Shondalar um, instead of doing some arena. The super... Uh, the um, I, I don't know if there was a Magic video game before it, but I think it was like one of the first ones. It barely runs when I uh, tried it. I don't understand all of the mechanics, but, like, you're playing for Anti, you change the amount of life you get. It is so, so crunchy. <laughs> but I think it would be fun to show that off and try and actually figure out what's going on. Oh, away message. Born to lose, country trash, proud, drummer, skate and destroy. Skate to create, bound for glory. Guessing that's Casey's. And the rest of them are asleep. And that's still the public school thing. All right. I think... If this is going to be May sleeping, that might be a good point to wrap it up for today. Bedtime? Wait. Can't live in bed, May. Okay, it was the computer. So yeah. 
that's right around that two hour mark I was shooting for. And we've got through three days. I think that's a pretty decent chunk of progress. We've we've gotten back home, we've made up with family, we've poked someone's severed arm, <laughs> and we played some video games. Seems like a seems like a good productive time. Nice and sleep. And wake up all nice and peacefully. Save and quit. Alrighty. Think got some good stuff done. And I think I'll wrap it up. Thank you for popping in. It's been a delight. And since you were saying it's towards the end of your day, hopefully you can make like May and get some good knockout sleep. All right. It's been a blast. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.